Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Threadheads Valentine's Day special. With a few more days to the 14th, you definitely have some time to prepare and make something cool for the occasion. Taking the cue from Ryu Loves You 13 and Alley Girl 12, this week we're diving into the unmentionables. First up, the corset. The first thing you have to do is take your measurements. Then get out a piece of paper and make a pattern. For the complete pattern instructional, go to the Threadbanger blog for an awesome step-by-step. -step. Once you have your pattern made, cut it out and decide what fabric you want to use for the liner and outer shell. Take your pattern, lay it on your fabric, and carefully pin it down. Now cut it out an inch outside the pattern for seam allowance. And if you need to, trace around the pattern before you unpin it so you know exactly where to sew. Flip the pattern over and cut out another panel. Then do all those steps again for the liner pieces. Next, take out one outer piece and one liner piece, place them right sides together and pin. Sew a seam following the pattern line you traced, but make sure to leave a gap and then turn it right side out. You can use a pencil to help you push the corners all the way out. Now fold in the gap seam and sew it closed while sewing a top seam around the entire panel. Time for the hardware. We're going to use an eyelet kit we picked up for $2.50. It includes a mini anvil and setting tool and 25 eyelets. Take out a ruler, place it about an inch in from the front seam, and line your eyelets up along the ruler every inch on the inch. Make sure they're straight and use a fabric pencil to mark where they go. Now cut holes for every mark you made, but don't cut them too big. Next, insert an eyelet into a hole from the right to wrong side. Place the right side over the anvil and insert the tool into the eyelet, then hammer gently. Repeat for the rest of the holes. Now repeat all those steps to make the other panel. Place both the panels right side together and sew a seam to connect them. Then all you have to do is cut a long piece of ribbon, lace up your corset, and put it on. Now for those of you who aren't a big fan of the old V-Day, like Rain Shadow, who wrote, it would be cool if you guys did a project for people who hate Valentine's Day, then you'll want to head over to the extras page on Threadbanger where you'll always find something cool to download. This week we got some anti-Valentine's Day stencils for all you haters out there. And guys, if you're not into the whole corset making thing, when we return, Rob's going to show you how to make yourself a pair of boxers. Stick around. Hey, welcome back. So Corinne just got finished showing all you ladies out there how to make a corset. Now for all you guys, we're gonna show you how to make a sweet pair of boxers out of some old pillowcases. First, hit up the blog and check out the pattern. Now take your measurements and make your pattern pieces. Once you have your two pieces, lay each on a pillowcase, pin, and cut out. Making sure to cut through both sides of the pillowcase so you have four separate pieces. Now lay your identical pieces back on top of one another, Pin and sew together the two edges to create the front and back pieces of your boxers. Now put your two pieces right sides on top of one another and sew your sides together. Next attach the crotch making sure to fold down the seam line when you're sewing. Then turn your boxers right side out and add a hem to the bottom of your leg holes. Now for that front flap, you're going to fold it over evenly and sew down both sides. Then take the flap on the opposite end and add a simple hem down its side. Once done, tuck it under and connect both pieces at the bottom and the top. Next, you'll want to create a casing for your elastic. Do this by using your elastic as a guide around the waist of your shorts. Make sure you line up your front flaps evenly and sew together. Now, feed your elastic through the casing hole in the front using a bobby pin or safety pin. Sew the ends of the elastic together and tuck it into your casing. Lastly, you're going to sew closed your casing, add your anti-Valentine's Day stencil, and you're done! Those turned out great! Good job! Thanks. So we got a bunch of amazing entries for the Genome Sewing Machine Contest. A huge shout out to everyone who entered. Hello Gary, thanks for commenting in today. Hey, I'm Minnie. Threadbangers, my name is Matt and I have a problem. I have a couple of reasons why I could really use a new Genome Sewing Machine. And this is my poem to win a new sewing machine. 
This is my video play for the new sewing machine. Please. 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 The chance to win a new sewing machine. I dance about like a jumping bean. I love to sew. It's, it's my passion, you know. Please. Can I please win this? Hi, my name is Yuna. Ow! Not again! I have a perfect first sewing machine right here. I'm... I want this sewing machine really bad, and it would be absolutely, positively amazing if I got it. I need a real sewing machine. So help a crafter out. I love you guys so much, and you inspire me so much, and it, you don't even know what you've done for me. Please give us the sewing machine. And the winner is... Matthew, with your heart-touching plea, Matt, seriously, dude, you got us right here. Right there. Make sure you send us your address and the sewing machine is all yours. Congratulations. Next week, exclusive coverage of Fashion Week right here in New York City. You're not going to want to miss it. Till then, see ya.